Hey guys, welcome back for some more Going Medieval. I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed the first episode so much. And uh, if you, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that, that like, if you're thinking about getting the game, you can now get the game on Sky's official game store. Oh yes. So if you feel like supporting the channel, go uh, go check it out. There's a link in the video description. Um, the bad news is everybody in the camp has gone stark staring bonkers. <laughs> Uh, who should we start with? I mean, okay, Yuliana has become Bex. I am naming people after my uh, after my patrons. Uh, so yes, so Bex has joined the crew. I admit, I looked at this character and I was look, like looking at the, the the perks and the backstory and all the rest of it. Um, Bex knew animal, animals inside out, as befits a member of the Butcher's Guild. She was a butcher, which is why she's got um, such good cooking and stuff. Um, but the reason that I thought immediately thought of Bex who on Discord is known as Silver Jane. Um, <laughs> look at this. Hot-blooded. Anybody that's been in our Discord knows about Bex. Bex seems to be permanently overheated. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> um, but, say, look, look at this. She's a wicker. Bex is highly attuned to the natural world. She listens closely to the feral whispers of plants and animals. So she's barking mad, <laughs> right? Sky, Sky thinks he's a vampire and has decided to sleep down in what he now refers to as the crypt. Oh, sorry. Hang on a second. <laughs> what was that? What was I thinking? The crypt. There we go. And that's better. Um, Corpse Hatch. <laughs> Corpse Hatch has been reading too much Game of Thrones and thinks he's Arya Stark. He's become a faceless man, except all he's done is go to a tree, rip off some bark and glue it to his face. <laughs> Corpse, what the hell are you doing? I'm Arya Stark. No, you're not. I'm a faceless man. I kill you. No. And then and then we've got Picture Perfect over here. Well, she's just barking mad anyway. Hello. <laughs> oh, should we get on with it? Let's get on with it. Oh, we're going to do some cool stuff. Um, the cheese. The cheese is coming, guys. Um, I have done uh, a couple of things. I have changed the jobs a little bit. I've uh, Picture Perfect and Corpse Hatch are going to be focusing on construction. construction. That's going to be their number one uh, task because, he said, whizzing downstairs, uh, we need to get this wooden floor completed that we put in at the end of the last episode because um, even though the food is not rotting due to temperature, um, it will rot uh, because it's not on a wooden floor. It's just on the dirt. So, yeah, here you go. So, we need to get that done. Um, what else? What else did I do? Oh, I set Sky up uh, with some uh, some harvesting jobs. He's going to get in some berries and some mushrooms. And then uh, Bex is going to be um, cooking that stuff up as quickly as possible. Right, now, let's have a look uh, here. Before, we were producing food um, until we had six meals. Now, just produce it forever. We want to convert all of our raw food into meals and get it stored downstairs. Now, I have changed the setup slightly um, for storage. All of our all of our like materials, like rocks and stuff like that, wood and anything that do either doesn't rot or rots very very slowly, like like sticks. Uh, how how long do you like like one year, twenty eight days, right? So stuff like that is just going to go on this stockpile here. Um, what else? What else? About, um, oh, yeah. Now, I've put in a little stockpile here. And this is just for raw food. So we put the raw food here so that Bex can cook it up, right? And then um, the, the meals, once they're cooked, will be stored down in the cellar. <laughs> I am going to come uh, way... Uh, no, uh, no, I'm going to come way over here to this little area. This little area is going to be our... Or, well, it is our dumping stockpile and this is where we're going to dump human remains and waste um waste is rotten meat vegetable and ash so yeah and the reason that we want to put this like a long way away from camp is because let's pause um these people there's dead bodies here so like picture perfect i mean she's very she's very sensitive to this kind of stuff if we look at our mood we can say Three times she's seen a dead body. And for each time you see a dead body, you get a negative buff. So we want to get those uh, get those dead bodies moved out of there. The floor is finished. Hooray. That's all done good. Right, now we can move on with other things. I want to get a bit of farming going. So we're going to do a bit of farming. Let's come over 
I think probably in this this area over here would be good for, for our first farms. So, um, what am I what am I going to set up? I'm going to set up um, a barley field. Now, the reason I want a barley field is because barley is used to brew beer, and beer makes them happy. Of course, it does. And then I'm going to do now. We want flax as well. We want flax because flax is used to to make clothes. So we'll put in a couple of rows of flax, and then I think we're going to be we're going to be upgrading our kitchen to make better meals. And for that, you need herbs. So now there are wild herbs growing around the place, and we'll we'll get some of those. But I want to uh, to grow some as well. So I'm going to put in a row of herbs as well. Um, is one going to be enough for now? Yeah, probably. Now the reason that I'm spacing them out is uh, one because it'll look good. And two, because it then it's very easy for me to double it up if I want to double it up. Uh, yeah, now I'm just wondering, I, hmm. I'm already thinking, should I double this up? <laughs> oh man, I'm already thinking, should I double it up? I gotta say, I am very, t you know what? I, I think I'm going to, because things are going pretty well. You know, what? I'm going to extend the rows to 15, so that'll be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Sweet. Yeah, we can do. We can do that. Go on. Awesome. That's going to keep Sky very, very, very busy. Okay. How are we doing for meals? Look at this. We've got twenty stews made. Woohoo! That'll keep us going for a few days. We have got a few herbs in. We've got some healing kits. That's good. We've only got six ale left. That's not good news. Uh, we've got some linen cloth. We've got some. Ah, now, hey. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, we'll we'll decompose over here. If we don't um if we don't do something about it because um oh it's decaying because of the ground type but um also it's exposed to the elements which is like not a good thing so i was thinking we'll put in a little hay barn like just a, like specifically a hay barn and they look really cool as well so i think we're going to do that what am i going to do i'm going to put in um i'm going to leave a little bit of a gap here i think i mean yeah i'm gonna um, yeah i'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap and we'll have that then how wide do i want this maybe three Maybe three wide. Yeah, go on, three wide. Uh, we'll put that one in there. Right, now, do you remember I said in the last episode that these wooden beams that we got from our first bit of research are very useful? What are they useful for, Sky? Well, instead of having to build all the walls, what you do is you get a wooden beam, and if you put it uh, against a wall that's, like, between two walls, it'll just do that. Look at that. It just goes, oh, okay, I'll do you a beam all the way across there. How cool is that? Well, it's even cooler without the autosave throwing you off. There we go. Right, so we'll uh, pop a couple of those in. Now, I could put them in there as well. You know what? For aesthetic purposes, I might. It's a bit of a waste because I don't need to. But I'm going to do it anyway. Boom, boom. Right. And then, uh, and then we just throw a nice little roof on top. Like that. And there you go. You've got a nice little outside storage barn. Excellent. Okay, so um, so now we've got a hay barn and some hay going on. We can get that hay moved off there. We'll take hay out of there. Don't want hay. Hay, hay, hay. Can you say hay a few more times? <laughs> Sky is um, frantically trying to get all this done. Corpse is giving him a hand. Well, that's very nice of you. It's important to get this stuff planted early because it takes, I think it takes 20 days for the flax and 20, is it 26? Um, I don't know, for the barley. I think it's 26. Let me check. Let me just have a look. Uh, so the herbs is 20 days. Barley, 26 yeah, hours, right? 26 for the barley. So important to get that stuff planted up early and uh, and rocking and rolling. Okay, good. What are we going to do next? Um, next, I've done the hay barn. The I would like to expand the cellar. Let's have a quick little look and see how we're doing space-wise. We're actually doing okay space-wise. Um... But I do, I do kind of want to expand it. I'm, go I'm going to, I'm going to. So I need to come up to the first level so that I can get this. I'm going to, exp I'm going to do three, four, four. I'm going to expand it out like that, I think. Uh, so that's not, that's a nice little job for them to do. Oh, oh, pictures down there digging straight away. Well, there you go. This picture perfect dungeon. <laughs> that's why she's so keen to get this completed. Oh, I, I might have use for a, lo a little part of that, guys. I'm all right then. <laughs> oh dear, I'm a very bad man. Mm -hmm. Sky is uh, being horrendously overworked at the moment. 
It's like, are you crazy? All of this? Yeah, well, it's going to be fantastic when we harvest it. He's got all but one of this row done. He's finished this row. Finished that row. So he's got like three herbs to do and he's done. That is super awesome. I'm very tempted to get these herbs in because we can store them downstairs so we'll have them kind of forever once we've got them. Let's get, um, let's get these herbs. Uh, are they, are they they're ready to harvest? Yeah, they're ready to harvest. Harvest those as well. Okay, good. This, getting this cellar in, I can't tell you how massively important this is because the fact that we can store food indefinitely means that we can just harvest as much food as we can lay our hands on uh, and it, it'll just sit down there forever. So come, come the winter time, we, we are going to have no food problems. It's, it's kind of massive. Oh, look, we're getting our hay harvested and stored away. That's lovely. Oh, they're down. They're, oh, Bex is down there as well. She, I, she's heard. She's heard what Picture's plan is. She's like, I'll help you. <laughs> no problem. I'm straight onto that job. Shall we, um, shall we have a look and see how they're getting on? Oh, it's it's coming along. I tell you what, we're going to take advantage of the latest update and we're going to put some shelves down here. Shelves are awesome. I think I'm going to do some research to get shelves. Let's have, actually, let's have a look at the research. What are we going to do? Oh, yeah, it's preserving food. Preserving food. I think we're going to do, yeah, we're going to do this and we're going to get shelving. And basically, they're the, these three high shelf units. So they massively save space. So we're going to get those. We need 20 books. We've got 102 available. We have absolutely flown with the research. Right. Unlock that. Good. And then are they... How are they doing? I want to put like a row in across there. But I, I, you know what? I could start there, couldn't I? Yeah, of course you could, Sky. Go on then. So we'll do, we'll do a row of shelves. Boom. Oh, oh, one, two, three four so we'll have a row of shelves going across there and we'll do them like every other every other row and that will uh, that will increase our space down here significantly i think these are still ripening yeah they're flowering that's ripening that's ripening budding flowering okay excellent so we've got a whole load of berries coming in woohoo that'll give beck's lot to do right how we do look at this we've got 16 lots of uh, recurrent berries We've got six stews downstairs. Be able to make lots more now. Oh, look, Bex is, Bex is right on it. She's like, oh, fine, I'll get those meals made. Right, we're going to need to research smelting. So this is going to give us access to the smelting furnace. And uh, iron ingots and gold ingots. We're going to be using iron ingots. So let's unlock smelting. And now we're going to be doing brewing. Um, and this is going to unlock um, ale and beer and rough wine. Awesome. Oh, I tell you what I must do. I must do this now because otherwise I'll forget. If I go to the food station and edit these meals, I can tell them, do not use barley to make meals. Don't use barley. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing I need to change. Okay, good. Because otherwise they'll use to pour my barley and we won't have any beer. And that would be very very bad okay so let's make let's make a smithy how are we going to make a smithy sky well we're going to do it like this i think we're going to take um yeah we're going to take a wooden wall how big do i want to make this do i want to make it kind of that size seems a little big seems a little bit big so we want a pillar there maybe we'll make this a different size maybe yeah let's do it like that and then I'm just wondering whether I want to be fancy about this or just like not so fancy. You know what? Not so fancy. Yeah, not so fancy. Let's do let's do it like that. Now that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll throw in a couple of beams there and there. We'll throw a nice roof on. Right. So production smelting furnace. Flip you around like that. We'll have the smelting furnace like in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a little couple of stockpiles. Yeah, 
I'm going to put in a little couple of stock piles. Now, this is going to be for iron ingots. So basically, we put we, we put the iron nuggets down here, smelt them, and then the iron ingots will live over here. And what do we say, picture? <laughs> they live there now. <laughs> <laughs> they live there now. Uh, iron ingots go over there. And you know what? We can say steel and golden, but it's fine. Okay, uh, I'm going to expand that. Might as well, might as well use the extra space. There we go. Awesome source. Okay, right. So th they must have completed the work downstairs. And if they've completed the work downstairs, oh look at that! Oh, and they've done the shelves as well, and they're putting the food on it. Oh, that's awesome! Right, we'll we'll let them get a few more shelves up. Three, four. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. We'll do a whole row. Right. So we need. We need more trees. We need more wood, specifically. Oh, this is coming along very nicely. Okay. We are going to start our first permanent building. Oops. We're going to start our first permanent building. Right. How are we going to do it? We are going to go over here. We're going to choose wall. We're going to go limestone wall. And we are going to put a limestone wall around this. So, there and there and up to there and there and then we're going to put a nice door in what's that very that's a grated door no we don't want a grated door so door goes in like that or we have our first permanent structure none of, none of your wood nonsense they're a proper stone building right um we'll go with oh hello Summer appeared like a warm blessing, coaxing the settlers to shed their warm clothing. Now was the time to build underground storage to keep food fresh in the sunny days to come. But because Sky and Picture and Bex and Corpse weren't total morons, they'd already done it. <laughs> Hooray! And there was much rejoicing in the camp. Doors going in. Oh my goodness, they're flying along. They're absolutely flying. Right, time for the cheese. Okay, where are we going to start with this cheese fest? Now, I think I want a decent amount of uh, limestone for all the building that we're going to be doing. So I think I want to dig the moat through this limestone deposit over here. What I'm going to do is kind of take the outline of this so that we get all this nice limestone. Yeah, that's great. And then we want to come up and join up to here. Now, I kind of want as much territory as possible. So I think we'll bring this across... Bring this across like this, and then maybe down a bit, and across a bit, and down a bit, and across a bit. Maybe come down a bit. <laughs> you know the way you do. And then link it. You know what? Actually, I want to go. I want to go one up. I was I was overzealous. So we'll link that across there. We'll get them going. We'll cancel that one. There we go. So this is gonna be the first the first part of the cheese. So what we do? We dig this moat all around here. And then we're going to do the same thing over here and round here and, and all that. Okay. While we're doing that, oh, look, we've got our first building. Now, I'm deliberately not putting any windows into this because um, because there's, there's no need. But in other buildings, we will have windows. Why? Because we're fancy. Staggeringly, staggeringly fancy. Fancy schmancy. Right. Let's have a look over here. How's everything going? What I should do over here is I should tell them, um, what do I want to do? On this stockpile, I want to say materials. We don't want to store the iron nuggets. Don't store the iron nuggets. Now, what that should mean is they should come over here, grab the iron nuggets, and throw them over there, which is exactly what they're doing, which is brilliant. Oh, but it, it, you know, it starts to look like a proper little settlement. We've got a little hay barn. We've got a little smithy going. Should we, um, should we actually get them smithing some stuff? Yeah, go on, why not? So what do we want? We want some um, iron ingots. We can't do gold ingots yet. So we'll do iron ingots and amount. It's a good question. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we'll start off with like... I don't know. What do we think? So it's control for 10 and shift for 100. Let's start them off with like, say, 50. Yeah. 
Very cool. Unfortunately, we've got lots of uh, nice sticks here. I could have been really fancy, right, and set up a little stockpile for some sticks to use as the as the fuel for this. But I think, you know, like when we do the like the ultimate castle and whatever, I am going to do things like that. I'm going to be like, like little, little, little stockpile of sticks for the, you know, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I can't resist. It's so good. So you, what are you going to be for? You are just going to be um clear everything materials sticks sticks yes hooray all right cool uh, and we will make this a high priority stockpile you know what i mean i could have just set this to a high priority and left the rest of the stuff over here but i don't think we're ever gonna i was gonna say i don't think we'll ever have that much uh iron but I mean, it's possible. Look, so we've got the sticks for the fuel. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be so good. How we do? Have we, have we started on this yet? Oh, yeah, they've dug a section out there. Oh, they're working on, they're working on the limestone section. Good job. Well done. Oh, hello. A safe haven. A new settler has arrived. You sighted a pale, halting figure near the perimeter of Camembert. As she approached, it became clear that uh, Mirield had been bleeding from a deep gash and needed to rest. It was for honour, Mirield gasped. Uh, would you grant them respite? Of course, of course we would. Well, um, if she's got good stats. <laughs> oh, she likes botany. That's great. 13 carpentry, 9 medicine. I like her already. Um, yeah, you're in. We welcome her into Camembert. Where is she? Here she is. Oh, look, poor woman. Bleeding from a deep leg wound. My God, she's she's already lost about thirty pints of blood. She's uh, well. She was going to convalesce, but she's decided no, nah, no. Nah, I'm going to bleed over everything. I'm going to bleed all the way down into the dungeons. I'm going to grab some food, have a have a quick scoff, and then trailing blood everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to go to my room. And hope that somebody comes and tends to my wounds. Is somebody going to come and do it? Corpse is on the job. See? See, Corpse is such a nice guy. Wounds tended. Hooray. All right. Let's have a look at uh, Mireille. Um, I think I know who this is going to be, by the way. Uh, while, you know what? While I'm paying attention to this, let's, let's slow down a little bit so it doesn't get completely out of hand. Um, so, let's have a look at your biography. Tempered Bowyer. Oh, we've got a marksman. That's brilliant. It was said that Mi Mireld annihilated 23 French warriors at uh, Le Cluse, each dispatched with a single, mercifully accurate shot. Her fame as an archer was only surpassed by Mireld's skill with you building fine longbows. Um, you, it's a type of wood, you trees. Uh, they were greatly prized when the world changed. Mireld had uh, packed her surviving children on a cart and fled. She could not remain. Oh, look, she packed her surviving children. She's got children. <laughs> you know who this is now, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah of course it is. Um, go on, I'm going to do it. This is going to be Susie. Yeah, Susie's in. <laughs> she's going to be, she's going to be so happy. Um, Susie had packed her surviving kids on a cart and fled. She could not remain as the ghost of her family would haunt the house for eternity. Susie found a niche as an ironmonger. Even the unhinged... Uh, even the unhinged need new locks and bolts. Well, you've come to the right place because this place is completely unhinged. The heretic of Picts. Susie speaks of the gods of Abraham and the mosques of the Moors, of sacred groves, lost scrolls and forbidden rites. Susie knows a bit too much for her own good. It is Susie. It totally is Susie. All right. So um, let's have a look. Let's have a look at your perks. Dainty. Well, yes, Susie is definitely dainty. She needs the finer things in life to, to thrive. She struggles to cope with the little things like dirt, cold and hardship. Robust. <laughs> She's a... Don't show up. She's as strong as an ox. She's always hale and hearty and never laid low. <laughs> time when I looked at that. I was like, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> so basically, Susie is, is Brienne of Tarth, a skilled warrior and strong as an ox. Good on you, Suze. Right, let's uh, let's sort Susie's jobs out. So we want you um, tend, convalesce, uh, steward, and haul. Excellent. So let's see, what are you good at? Um, so botany. Okay, you've got zero skill, but you've got a passion for it. 
Um, I'm not going to do it now. The, the problem with using Susie to do the harvest thing with zero skill is she could come over here and completely waste all of these crops. So I think we're going to wait until we're in a, in a better position before we do that. So I've completely changed my mind <laughs> and I decided, you know what? Susie needs to learn. And these, look, our flax has already grown up. We're only day five of summer. Uh, but I, I put originally, I put in a load of stuff to be harvested, like mushrooms and berries and all kinds of stuff all over the map um, to, to get her skill up on, on like the simple, easy stuff. Um, but then this stuff started uh, maturing. So, and I was going to take her off it. And then I thought, yeah, just, let's just let her get the skill up. So Susie is already up to seven skill. That's flown up. Wow, and she's, she's going to hit eight, like, any second. Like, it's flying up there. Awesome sauce. Um, it does mean that um, people have been spending a lot of time doing that. Like, Sky is um, Sky's work just working in the smithy, like, all the time. You know what? I think we've got we've got a fair amount of iron ingots. Um, I, th I think maybe we'll we'll just say... Uh, let's, let's not do any more. I want I want Sky to to work on doing some um, some digging for a bit. I think would be a good plan. Okay, so uh, so that's that. We have we have dug out at like a tiny bit, but I want them to get on and dig a lot more. So we've dug like one piece out there. <laughs> yeah, I need to I need to prioritise the uh, the uh, the mining and get them focused on that. So let, let's see if we can get that done. Oh, what's this? Environmental Thor's hammer. Unexpected thunder roared, crashing through the bruised sky. A violent presence, intruding like a bad omen, held echoes of a heathen god. Fork lightning flickered and blazed towards the ground, splitting a mighty oak. I think we're in for a lightning storm. No. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, no, it's just a little bit of light rain. But no, it's absolutely teeming it down. Yeah, we're in for a massive storm. <laughs> I've increased picture um, to, uh, to mining um as a top priority but she hates the rain so i'm going to knock her back down to a three so hopefully she'll go and do research instead corpse can be uh um number one mining i think sky probably as well and you know what yeah i'm gonna make bex as well oh good grief now that's a proper thunder Whoa poor susie out in the fields in the middle of a thunderstorm gathering crops. I've got to get them in now, otherwise the crops will be ruined. <laughs> <laughs> that Thor, he's not a god. He's a very naughty boy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Susie's cracking on with these. What is she up to now? Oh, she's up to, up to skill nine now. She's going to be better than Sky soon. But it does mean... Okay, the, the, the thunderstorm has passed. So, uh, right. Now we're actually getting on with this. At last. And about darn time too. Now, how are we doing meals-wise? We have got 78 meals. That's pretty darn impressive. We've got these, uh, these crops harvested, which is fabulous. Uh, how long for this? Four days. For the... Um, for the uh, what was it? Barley. Barley. Yeah. Right. This, this is going to take a little while, especially when they're going through the hard stuff. But it's great because it's going to bring in a bunch of um, a bunch of the limestone, which we can use for building awesome buildings. OK, we've got a new settler. Uh, lost property. Appearing deranged at first, Godster was simply overcome with terror. A pitiful, stumbling corpse with wheels from uh, from binding and harsh beatings by a cruel master. Again, there's a lot of that goes on, apparently. They didn't call it the Dark Ages for nothing. Uh, let's see. How good are you? 19 construction. A major pas passion for carpentry and smithing. Uh, passion for tailoring. Passion for medicine. Oh, this guy is good. Three put... Oh, background a shrewd builder yeah you're coming in for sure now that does mean we are going to face oh we're going to face another attack four forest bandits and a forest bandit archer 
Oh, this is going to be more of a fight, guys. Yeah, let's um, let's bring you in. Oh man. Okay, so let's um, let's see how are they doing with this. They've they've actually started to get on with this now. We're actually starting to make some progress, which is awesome. But I, there's no way that we're going to get this um, this whole moat finished in um, in two days. So we're not going to be able to cheese the next fight. But um, but yeah, I think it's going to be fun when it happens. <laughs> let's let's have a look at um, at Godza. Let's have a look. So your biography, shrewd builder. From uh, from timber lintel frames to trampled cob for thick curved walls. Godza could work them with his strong, raw hands. Okay, good. Uh, construction, carpentry, speaker, smithing. Let's have a look at the perks. Disfi <laughs> oh, who are we going to make this one into? Uh, disfigured. Godza did not really have a face, but he had a purpose. Few will look Godza in the eye. <laughs> Iron stomach. One of Godza's favourite tricks is eating horseshoe nails or soap. It's a special talent to be able to eat literally anything. Uh, outgoing. Godzer is a great sport. Always setting up bouts, games, and sings along. He's a jolly soul, despite the fact of not having a face, apparently. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at his uh, skills. Um, 12 in carpentry, 9 in botany. Uh, 11 speechcraft, 16 in... Yeah, he's a zero marksman, which is um, a bit of a shame, but... But that's okay. That's okay. I think we. I think we'll be able to survive. Okay. Well, enemies are coming in seven hours. Ah, oh, you know what? I think we're going to call it there. <laughs> we're going to call it there for this episode. If you want to see if we can survive the bandit attack, you'll have to come back for the next episode. <laughs> Guys, thanks for being here. I uh, hope you've. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think I should build. What type of buildings? you know like designs and like any like any ideas that you've got at all let me know and we'll see what we can do i will catch you for the next one peace out